But uh, two seconds ago, you said something about how you used to sneak into uh, the bathroom and watch him shave and say, when, when is my moment going to come? So when your moment did come, do you remember? Do you actually remember your first shave? And do you remember your father actually sort of teaching you how to shave? And was, uh, it, was it a fun moment or an emotional moment or an exciting well, moment? I, I was sort of, I finished 10th standard and I was going into college. And, uh, you know, we studied in a... In a in a boys' school. So and he shaved for the first time in the 10th standard? No. In, Just in, swallowing, you know. No, I was, going in, I was going into first PUC in college and it was a co-ed college. So, so I hadn't shaved till then. So I kind of thought, you know, if I was going into the co-ed college and there were going to be girls for the first time in class, I might as well look a bit present. Aha! So one minute. Can I tell you this? I never thought I'd get this out of Rahul Dravid. It was a girl-related no, no, decision. He was going to a co-ed co college and so he said, I must shave. I think I must shave. But was it with your dad? Yeah, I mean, uh, like, I, like I said, I mean, it was my dad's razors. My dad had the razors and, uh, and I said, yeah. And so he said... Yeah, you know, I think you should use my razors and, and, and you know, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I, I don't think he had to teach me how to shave, you know, I'll, I'll be honest, I think, you know, just watching him over the years, you just kind of figure how it's done. Uh, but yeah, I mean, but it was his razors, it was his Gillette razors that I used for the first time. So that Gillette razor was a single blade razor? It was in the old days, it was those uh, right. plastic ones, yeah, things, things have moved on a lot. And <laughs> things have come a long way, Gillette really believes that... Uh, you know, we should give you the best a man can get. And so we're down now to five blades in a razor, five blade yeah, fusion. So what are your thoughts on the evolvement of the razor? Yeah, it's fantastic. I think, you know, that's one of the great things of being involved with Gillette for me personally has been uh, just the technology and the innovation at a company that Gillette, uh, you know, has. And it keeps improving all the time. Every time I come to an event or I've been associated with them for so many years now and I keep seeing uh, new, new technology come in. Uh, and it's great that it, it's coming to India now. I, you know, I remember going on my first few tours outside and buying blades and, buying blades at, and at you know buying Gillette yeah, razors. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, you, first thing you do is you go out and buy that. Uh, but but now you don't have to. It's it's all available in India, so it's fantastic. You know, technology keeps improving. Uh, it's great to just see uh, you know the India colors on it as well, the blue yeah, and the I was orange. Ask as well. you that. So it's nice. Yeah, it's, Does it you make know, you feel patriotic when you shave every morning? The India colors, India engraved on it. It's a special razor, indeed. Special yeah, I mean, for I, India. I, I do feel patriotic generally, but but yeah, it's nice. It's nice to have that. It's it's nice to sort of, you know, I guess in a way support your country and, and especially with so many sporting events happening around the world and so many Indians taking part. Uh, I guess when you get up in the morning and you're looking forward to watching India play in a match or watching or thinking about, you know, what Saina Nehwal might be doing in a badminton competition somewhere. Right. You know, if you're shaving the shave, at least you're That's thinking about cool. it. That's cool. I like that. I like the whole Saina Nehwal angle. All right. Now it is my... Uh, no, no. I mean, it's great. Yeah, it's great to see sports people anywhere in the world I mean, from I, I India performing well. And, and, you know, when you're shaving with that India razor, you feel even more patriotic. Yeah. Right. Okay. It is now my pleasure to invite on stage two amazing father and son duos from the world of cricket and cinema. Please welcome the super talented R. Ashwin with his dad, Mr. N. Ravi Chandran. And the dashing duo of Arbaz Khan and his fantastic dad, Mr. Salim Khan. What a lineup, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give you two seconds to take pictures. What a fantastic lineup of people we have here. Arbaz, first up. Acha, pehle aapko picture lena, but picture ke baad mauke milne wale. Baad mauke milne wale, please. Okay, Arbaz, my first question is to you. Uh, from your first steps that you took as an infant to your first steps you took in the world of cinema, would you say that your father is your true hero, your guiding light, your role model in every sense? Uh, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, just, uh, thank you very much for being here. 
Definitely. Uh, to answer your question, Mandira, my father has been definitely very inspirational and has been a role model for me. Uh, I kind of uh, try to emulate him in every possible way and try to, you know, walk uh, along his footsteps. There are so many things that I've imbibed from him and learned from him. And I wish some of the qualities that he, have, that he has, I have, and I can pa pass them on to my son.